What's up everyone, Bridget from Riverside here, and in this video, I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of the Riverside platform. It's important to note that you and your guests must be using either a Google Chrome browser, Microsoft Edge browser, or our mobile app in order to use Riverside. Once you are in your Riverside dashboard, you will have access to all studios. You can also create a new one by clicking Create New Reusable Studio. Name your studio and decide if it will record audio only or both audio and video. You can either enter that studio right away or you can create the studio for later. Now you'll enter the Riverside Green Room where you can check your camera view and if you have an external mic, camera, or speaker like headphones, you can select these now from the drop down menu. By default, you'll join the studio as a host, but at this point you can also decide if you want to join as a producer. This means that you can monitor the session and adjust the settings, but your mic and camera will be off and you won't be recorded. Before you go into the studio, you must click whether or not you are wearing headphones. We highly recommend that all participants wear headphones to reduce any potential feedback, but if a user isn't wearing headphones, echo cancellation will be enabled. Let's head in. Now we're in the studio. The video that you see in the studio is not the quality of the final exported video. Riverside records audio and video locally on every computer involved in the session and then uploads that recording to the cloud. This means that any internet issues throughout the recording won't affect the final quality of the exported video. To invite guests to your show, you will be given a shareable link or you can send your guests an email directly through Riverside. When you invite people, you can choose what kind of role they will have. You can invite a guest to join the studio and be recorded, an audience member will join to watch the live recording but won't be part of the call, and you can invite a producer. On the right hand side of the studio where you'll see recording overview, you can name the recording, see all of the participants, as well as check the specs for the recording. Below that, you can monitor everybody's recordings individually, check their audio input and output, their levels, and you can enable and disable echo cancellation. Beside the studio tab is the media tab. This is where you can add music, intros, outros, and sound effects live during your recording. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a toggle to preview the sounds or add them live into your show. The last tab on this side of the screen is the chat tab, which you can use to chat with other people in the studio, check audience questions and comments, and you can call on Riverside's live support by typing at Riverside. By clicking the gear icon, you can check and update the audio and video settings. If you want more information on studio settings, head to the studio support articles linked in the description. During the recording, you're able to mark a clip when you feel a highlight worthy moment is happening. By clicking create a clip or hitting M on your keyboard, Riverside will note this part of the recording for later when you use our editor feature to create clips. At the top of the page, you will see the upload status. Riverside starts uploading the recording to the cloud as soon as the recording starts and continues the upload throughout the entire session. At the end of the session, you and your guest will want to keep the tab open until the upload completes. This doesn't usually take very long, but if you do end up navigating away from the tab too soon, you can head to riverside.fm slash upload and Riverside will find the recordings on your computer and upload them for the host. Once the upload is complete, there are a couple ways to access your recordings. The first one is by clicking the button that appears under recording overview. The second is once you end the call, you will be brought directly to the recording take page where all of your recordings live. This is your studio recordings page, where you'll see thumbnails for each recording session that has happened in that studio. To share all of your studio's recordings with someone else, click the link button at the top. Now, let's click on a specific recording. This is where all of your content lives. Riverside makes it easy to create a whole bunch of content from your one-time recording. Here you can see the upload status of all participants. You can preview the full recording, but it's important to note that the quality of the recording that you see here is not the quality of the final exported video. At this point, you will see any clips that you marked during your recording. For more information on clips, watch our clips walkthrough linked above and in the description. You will also see various snapshots from the recording that you can share directly on social media platforms and download for future use. You can download separate audio and video tracks for each track in the session. For video, we recommend downloading the constant frame rate MP4 to ensure that audio and video are synced up properly. To get a transcription of your recording, click on the three dots at the top of the page. This will be available to download after a few minutes. Here, you will also see the option to download backups and internet recordings. To save time in post-production, you can use our editor tool. 
This is our editor tool, where you can make multiple edits of different parts of your recording. You will see any clips that you marked in the studio, and you can create new clips manually. You can trim your content, choose what tracks will be included in the export, change the aspect ratio based on social media platforms, and you can customize your content by changing the layout, adding a background, and your logo. When you export your clip, you can choose what specs to export in, but this depends on what camera was used to record. You can create additional clips while your content is exporting, or you can access your clips on the Recording Take page. For a more detailed walkthrough of the editor tool, click the card at the top of the screen to watch our editor tutorial. There's your glance at Riverside. For more information and for additional help, head to riverside.fm support. Thanks for watching this walkthrough. Make sure to let us know how you'll be using Riverside in the comments. And of course, subscribe to our page and follow us on social media for more tips and tricks on how you can use Riverside for all things podcasting and beyond.